This weekend, the Isaiah 117 House communities are hosting lemonade stand fundraisers across the country. The first lemonade stand for the organization was held here locally in Carter County. News Channel 11's Maddie Cotaspati has more on how the lemonade stands benefit the organization. In 2017, a group of children out of Carter County, Tennessee, held a lemonade stand in order to raise money for their local Isaiah 117 house. This would turn into an Isaiah 117 house tradition. That tradition has continued uh, over the years. Now in our fifth year, uh, almost, well, sixth year, um, we're doing this all over the country in all of our locations. Isaiah 117's Director of Development and co-founder Corey Paulson says the organization had over 600 stands supporting the houses across the nation last year. So last year there was 650 lemonade stands last year across eight states and uh, raised almost half a million dollars for Isaiah 117 house. So uh, we hope to increase that this year and have even more stands and more awareness raised um, for kids entering foster care. Isaiah 117 aims to make the transition to foster care easier on children. Its different homes provide clean clothes, toys, and love. All proceeds from the lemonade stands go straight to the house in the community where the stand was held. Those, th those funds go directly toward getting stuff for kids, whether it's you know the toys and the clothes, the hygiene products that we provide to them, the new backpacks and the new duffel bags that they leave with. Um, this money goes toward purchasing all those items for them so we can just give them away. Members of the Isaiah 117 communities were not the only ones involved. Tempa Bader, who is on the local advisory board for the Washington County House, got her church's women's ministry involved. Bader says they got involved because they wanted to bring attention to the organization. The main reason we want to do it is to uh, promote awareness. Sometimes I think, especially in the circles I'm in, every, you think everybody knows about Isaiah 117, but that's not the truth. So one of the uh, purposes is to raise awareness and let people know what, uh, what we do as a ministry. The stands will continue to operate through Sunday evening. In Johnson City, Maddie Cottesbody, News Channel 11.